Hey, what's going on, Virgos? Butch Taro here. I am going to do your one week read. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, we're going to be using the Spellcaster Tarot. And with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have for Virgos? Virgos. So the first thing I see Virgos is I do feel like there is someone new coming in. And, and with this person, I feel like right off the beginning, I feel like the first, the first thing you, you're going to notice about this person is I do feel like th there's a lot of, you know, I, I feel like this person is, you know, I, I feel like appearance wise, they're very attractive. But I've, I I feel like the biggest thing here is not the attractiveness, but I feel like it's the package. I feel like they're very attractive, but I feel like in a very traditional way. You know, I feel like they just have their shit together. You know, I, you know what I mean? I, it's not like overly revealing type energy. It's not like this person, you know, it, it's just the whole package put together. It's them and and it's the way they are. You know, very confident, a lot of flirtatious energy. You know, I, I hope you know what I mean, like in a traditional way. I, I feel like they're just very seductive energy coming from them. Now, now with this person, I feel like, like I said, that's the beginning. But I feel like as we, as we move forward with this, I, I do feel... You know, there is a sense that this person, there's something more to this person that you're not quite seeing right off the beginning. You know, there's more to meet the eye with this person. You know, we have the two of swords. You know, as we, as we move on, I feel like we realize that the outlook is just the beginning. You know, this person's very intelligent. They're very... You know, they have their shit together. They know what they want. They bring value to the table. You know, they're just not just a another, you know, attractive person. There's lots of attractive people that will be attracted to in the course of our life. But with this person, there's something much more here. Now, you know, they're very, like I said, they're very honest, very straightforward. They don't play games. And I feel like all these things just increases the attraction that you have toward this person. And, and with this person, I feel like they're attracted in the same way. I feel like you, you have a lot in common. I feel like you're both on the same page. You're both looking for the same thing. You know, with that Queen of Swords, all of that honesty, even so much to say is that blunt honesty. And that Seven of Pentacles being on the same page. It's it, it's hard 
to find all these things in one package. And when we find it, we need to hold on to it. Now, one thing I do see is I do see a little bit of a internal struggle within you because I, and it's not so much something that you did. I, I feel like there, there is a third party energy that is, that is trying to, not so much trying to get in the way, but I feel like they're trying to, you know, take some of the, you know, they're taking, they're trying to take something off this. I feel like they're trying to, you know, I feel like they're having way too much say. Let's just put it that way. You know, I, I feel like they're trying to, you know, convince you of things and, and trying to tell you about this, this new person you know, giving you their opinion, but we need to, you know, I feel like that's only going to cause that internal struggle. It's going to cause you to look at the negatives instead of the positives here. You know, I, I feel like this third part, this third party, I feel like, you know, I, I feel like they don't want you to, it's not that they don't want to be, they don't want you to be happy. I just feel like there's a little bit of jealousy and not jealousy as in the, you know, I, I just feel like they're trying to get in the way of this. They're trying to ruin it. And I don't feel like they're doing it intentionally. I just feel like it, it is some sort of jealousy coming out of that person. But that's the only thing I see with this whole read. You know, it, the, that's the only negative I see is someone trying to be in your ear. But we need to trust our intuition. You know, Trust how you feel when you're with this person. Trust the chemistry that you feel. Trust, you know, trust yourself. Don't let anybody else get in your head. You know, with this person, like I said, this person, the more they see you, the more they want. You know, this person, like I said, this I, I do feel like this person... They only think about you and we have new love coming. You know, this is, this is something that could be something great if we allow it, but there's always going to be these, you know, other factors that get in the way, like other people or, you know, other people's opinions, but we can't, we can't worry about that. You know, like I said, this person is a very, you know, they're very confident, but they're, all, you know, there's a great mixture. They're very confident, but they're very humble. You know, they're very, you know, attractive in a more traditional, but very seductive way. You know, they're intelligent. They got their shit together. They bring value to the table. You know, there's a very loving energy coming from this person as well. This person, like I said, you're on the same page. You want the same things. This person, they go after what they want. And this person is looking to build a foundation. They want to build something. They want someone that they can, you know, they can experience things with, but they also want someone that they can, they can count on. And you can count on this person. Like I said, this person, they want to be with you. And they will show up for you when you need them. And all they expect is the same. It's a very, you know, very Leo type energy from this person. They will give you everything and all they expect is, is, is you to put in the work as well. And I feel like, like I said, I do see an offer coming. And we have that power couple as well. You know, you make each other better. You, bring, you both bring your own value to the table, which makes together, it makes it even more valuable. It increases the value. And I see a lot of happiness, a lot of emotional fulfillment. Now with that sun card and the nine of cups. But like I said, I do feel like there is someone else, you know, getting in the way here. But, you know, they're trying to have their say. But like I said, I don't feel like their their objections come from a, you know, an authentic place. I feel like there is some jealousy there. Like I said, this person's honest. They're to the point. They don't bullshit. They don't have time for games. Like I said... They know what they're worth and, and they see a lot, you know, they're very, they're very good 
you know, they have a very good intuition and I feel like that's what brought them, you know, to move forward with you. I, you know, I feel like they see something in you they haven't seen anyone before. And I feel like that's not something they're willing to walk away from. You know, they want to be with you. And I feel like, like I said, they find themselves thinking about you when they're not with you. You know, and, and we do have new love. Like I said, we see a foundation being built. We have a lot of happiness, you know, a lot of emotional fulfillment. I mean, there's just so many things that, so many good things here. You know, I do see you getting what you want. Finally, someone that, that shows up, someone that, you know, is loyal and, 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 you know, honest. But like I said, there, you know, there's so many different contradictions here. I mean, they're, they're, they're confident, but humble. You know, they're intelligent, but they like to have fun. Very sarcastic energy from this person. I, I feel like there's so many different levels that you, you, you this person really is going to get you. And I feel like that's what we get to need to concentrate on. Like I said, with the high priestess, we got to concentrate on that. We got to concentrate on how we feel. Don't worry about what anybody outside feels. You know, I feel like in all true connections, there's going to be tests. And it's how we react to those tests and how we, you know, how we move forward with that. But don't, don't ever put your future in someone else's hands. I doubt that you will, but that's just my warning here. The only thing, like I said, the only thing I see negative with this read is the fact that there is someone that, you know, a third party that is jealous. And is trying to get you to think, you know, in, in a more pessimistic view. But we need to, you know, set set our own course. Because I feel like if you do, you know, I, I do see, a, like I said, a strong foundation. I see a lot of happiness. I see someone that shows up for you. I see someone that, you know, they're well put together. They, they have their shit together. They bring value. They're, you know, there's so many good things about this person. Like I said, I feel like we're always tested in so many different ways when we meet, the, you know, someone, when someone like this comes into our life, I feel like there's always going to be tests. It may not be tests when you first meet the person, maybe tests while you're with the person, but it's how we, how we respond to those tests. It's, it's all the little things that, that get us to where we want to go. Now with this person, we have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. I just feel like there's a lot of, like I said, I feel like the first thing you're going to notice with this person, and, and I get a really weird feeling, it's, it's almost like, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of the words to describe it. When you first meet this person, there's definitely a lot of attraction physically. But I feel like it's not so much about their physical as much as it is about the whole package. Like, I feel like this person just, there's something very seductive about this person. You know, we, 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 you know, it, it's not about being at the beach and seeing them in their, in their swimming suits. You know, it's not that kind of attraction. It's being well put together. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I don't think it, I don't think it does, but I hope so. It's just that's the biggest thing I'm getting from this read at the very beginning is, you know, there's just something that grab you, you grab each other's attention in a very similar way. You know, sometimes when you have so much in common, you know, everybody always says opposites attract, but I I, I don't believe. That's always the case. I, I believe sometimes we're attracted to people who are just like us. You know, or very similar. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.